Hello, my friends, and welcome to my very first episode of Flutter Explained. Today, I want to show you how you can create with a page layout builder and media queries stunning app screens for your needs. And without further ado, let's get started. So before we jump right into code, I just want to show you what exactly we want to achieve. We want to achieve something like this. And um, it is a responsive view for landscape and portrait mode. And whenever we change the direction, it will change our appearance of the app. OK, now we know what problem we want to solve. And as always, I'm coming a bit prepared. So what I did is I created already a small boilerplate for our example today. And it is just a basic uh, Flutter uh, app with a main.dart material app home screen. <clears throat> and inside of the home screen, we see that we have a basic scaffold with Hello YouTube as an app bar and a body with the home portrait or home landscape in the future. And if we take a look into the home portrait or home landscape, they are pretty much the same, but they have one important difference. The portrait mode has a column, and inside each column we have the rows. And in the um, landscape mode, we have a row with a lot of columns inside, with three columns inside. And all of them has a home card widget, which is um, uh, important because it is just our card with a center and a text currently, so that we can show different texts. So if everything works well, and that home screen works correctly, we will see now card one, card two, card three, card four, card five. Cool, let's see. Now we can change, of course, the home portrait with the home um, landscape mode, and we'll see that um, the effect is directly changing inside of the application. So <clears throat> without further ado, we can change that easily, but that is not what we want to achieve, right? What we want to achieve is we want to check the orientation. If we are in portrait mode, we want to show the home portrait, and if landscape, landscape mode. For that, a, a material, uh, Flutter gives us a very nice uh, function called media query dot off. Off is just a, um, a cool function that gives us the current media queries from this context that comes with the build function. So the build context inside. And what we can get here is the orientation property. If we look inside the orientation property, we see here that the orientation of the media in landscape or portrait mode. And we get even back an orientation object, which is nothing else than an enumeration between portrait and landscape, which is amazing because what we can do now is we can just check against that and ask if you are portrait, then we want to show the home portrait mode or are you not, then we want to show the home landscape mode. Voila. And as you can see now in the application, when I change the orientation of the uh, device, immediately the build function will be re-triggered. And with that, the, um, the um, if statement that I wrote here uh, will be triggered and it will identify if it's a portrait or landscape mode and will change it in instantly in that way. Okay, so far so good. Now we can distinguish between the orientation portrait mode and landscape mode. But what is, uh, we if we want to be more specific about the uh, given size that we have and want to show maybe in a tablet whenever we go into the landscape mode, always the portrait mode, even if we are in landscape mode, we want to show the portrait mode. And if we are doing the same thing on a phone, we want to swap. So only on a smaller device where we don't have so much space. For that, we have the possibility of the layout builder. And the layout builder gives us a property called builder, which is a function that gives us, uh, that returns a context and constraints. And what are these constraints? Return. We have to return a widget for that. So for now, we take the portrait mode. So whenever we call that function, we return the portrait mode. But let's have a deeper look into the layout builder. 
for now, I click on that name and Command B or Control B, and you jump right into the documentation of Flutter, and you can read all of the stuff here, and you can watch a very good YouTube movie from the Flutter team as well, and all of that stuff giving us the box constraints now. So if we take a look into the layout widget builder, that is the builder function that I wrote in a se uh, seconds ago, then you can see that we have a type definition of that layout widget builder. So we get the function type that we have to return a widget and we get as parameters the context, the current build context and box constraints. And these box constraints give us back the information of the container that this layout builder is inside. So we have now the possibility to read inside of our function, the constraints height, for example. So I will print them for now and say constraints dot max height, for example. And what we get, if I reload, we get a number. So, and if I change now from landscape mode into um, portrait mode, you will see that this number gets higher. So doesn't really, uh, or it's not really interesting, but what we can do now is if, if we check against this constraints dot max height and say, if you are below a certain number, for example, 600, then we always show home portrait. No, if we are below a certain number, sorry, then we show, of course, the landscape. Else we will always show the portrait mode. So now we have much more control about our device because um, a tablet most likely has much more space than, for example, an iOS device. And to show you that, I will open an iOS simulator. That is just an iPhone 11 in that case. I hope it is small enough. And I start the application against the iPhone. So now that we are having our iOS simulator running, I can show you if I change the orientation, we immediately get a value that is lower than 600 when we are in the landscape uh, orientation. And if we are in the um, and if we are in the portrait mode, we will show uh, we will see that we have more than 800 pixels for that. So that means we can use that information for us to uh, identify that. And as you see, the cards change probably. So we have card one, card two, card three, card four, card five. But if we are in um, portrait mode, we have card one, card two, card three, card four, card five. So, and now let's take a look into the um, Android emulator and let's con and in the Android emulator, you can see now this is a Nexus 10. And in this Nexus 10, we have here the card one, card two. And if I swap the orientation, we still have card one and card two. And also, if you take a look into the um, on the side here, you can see the um, orientation is always over 600. So we always display the landscape mode. Cool. Easy enough. Uh, sorry, the home portrait mode. Cool. Easy enough. All right. Thank you for joining me for that adventure today. And as always, on the right side, you can subscribe to my channel. And above me, there should appear two videos that you are interested in. And else, there is nothing else to say than thank you and enjoy your time.